What is up everyone and welcome to a static air build that I'm going to be doing today on one of the Club S2K members cars. As you guys will have seen at the beginning of this vlog, I had Rian here a little bit earlier and he was experiencing some problems with his setup. Uh, the car was not airing up and down and upon inspection I figured that his compressor was actually on the way out. But thankfully we had another customer's demo set up still in storage and after Rian had spoken to him he had agreed to let Rian use it in the interim. So his vehicle is temporarily sorted until we can get a new compressor for that. But before we get to the build I have received a couple of other customer orders as well. So let me just flip my camera around and take you guys through what I've received and also show you the Stone Spots Air Cup kit that has arrived for this S2000. So in this box we have got our first S2000 soft top in dark blue uh, that is going to Leon for his wife's car and then we also managed to bring in this little package here which actually consists of the strut rod bushings for the 97 to 2001 on the preludes that's going to one of the uh, prelude owners that is uh, part of my group and then as you guys know um, from the title of this vlog Today's poll is going to be about these Transbots air cups and the two that were on display on the table. These are for Carl Francis. Um, you guys will have seen his car featured on Kurt Wong's channel. And then the kit that is in the box is going to be installed in Keegan's S2000 today. So this will probably be about a three day build and I'm sure Keegan must be super excited to get his car back and having the flexibility of air as well. Um, this car, though it's not seemingly low uh, when i tried pulling it into the driveway i actually did struggle and had to use my block so yeah keegan let's start with your build got the front wheels off and the car is currently on jack stands so I'm about to take the front coilovers out and strip those and then start assembling the air cups onto them so just to show you guys that's the front wheels off and Keegan is running gecko coilovers so it will be my first time working with these but they are similar to BC's he also mentioned that he's actually having a bit of trouble with these wheels in the sense that there's some sort of wobble that is happening on the car as you're driving and I actually felt it on the front uh, quite aggressively as I was bringing the car home. So I'm going to take a look at the suspension pushes as well just to make sure that everything's in order there. But I also suspect that there could be flat spot on these tires or that the rims could in actual fact be buckled. <laughs> guys so it's a couple days after I started the build and I actually ran into a couple of issues with these gecko coilovers so I actually hit up Kerwin of Vertex Solutions 
as he is one of the guys that deals in gecko coilovers and I'm actually here now um, hopefully he's going to be able to assist me with stripping these and getting the air cups on so right behind me now here's the S2000 there's Kerwin over there and yeah we're just going to get the car in the air quickly and start the disassembly process and I'll just do a quick follow-up once we've got the air cups fitted So just a quick update, um, I've got two of the coilovers assembled already with the air cups and Kerwin is over here just busy measuring one of the coilovers and air cups that's going to be going into the rear. So yeah, let me just put down my camera and get cracking um, with the assembly of the others. So just another update, we've got the coilies and air cups fitted on the rear, um, just need to get the front in. So is also just tightening up everything and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so the S2000 is all buttoned up, everything has been fitted. Mm -hmm. Kerwin and I are just going to take the car for a quick test drive. Uh, the plumbing of the airlines and the electrical still needs to be sorted out so that we can actually do the airing up and down. But for now we just want to test the suspension as is before the rest of the work continues. So just to show you guys, this is the current height with the air cups fitted in. Um, the rear is just a little bit higher than what it initially was, but we've increased preload to avoid rubbing on the rear arches, so we'll just have to compensate by adjusting the height. And then Kerwin is just doing some fine tuning in the front still. So just another quick update guys, as you can see, tank and compressor are mounted. I will be taking a sleeve and just running it around those wires over there just to make it look a little bit tidier. And then, as you can see, all the panels have also been put back. So, next step will just be to do final height adjustment and then to just take the car for test drive, but that I will do tomorrow sometime. For now, I'm just going to back the car out quickly, do that height adjustment and then lock up for the night. Forever is the strangest thing, it's shorter than you think.